What is going on everybody? Welcome to my dirty ass garage. You know, project out here in a little bit. I just got back from the gym. And I wanted to show y'all something. So, a few days ago, I told y'all that, um, put that up there. So this is my uh, special table, right? Like I built it myself. It's a garage for the garage. It's a garage made, you know, so you can put stuff on it. And I'm going to show y'all something, right? I told y'all I'm ordering an exhaust. So here it is from Delkovic. I actually got it shipped um, from Amazon but uh it comes directly from duck y'all yeah, know how amazon works anyways let me get my special tool right over here it's uh you know whatever it's something sharp and let's unbox this thing so i got the uh Delkovic eight inch mini carbon stupid knife this is like the worst knife I've ever had anyways all right let's just get that right there I don't want to scratch none so trying to be really careful and I don't know when I'm gonna put this on I might put it on next week after work okay all right let me put this little gadget right over here and right on top of my special table you know the one that i built it's not a cooler sitting on top of another cooler in my garage it's a special um table okay so right here let's see let's see what we got right here you know when i held the box and i was moving around i was like damn it's pretty shaky but um let's check it out all right so i'm guessing so that's going to be the full system exhaust the pipes I'm guessing that's for the O2 sensor. And what you really want to see. I'll show you what you really want to see with the baffle. It says with the baffle. It's going to be the actual exhaust. So I'm going to put this down right over her. Right over her. Alright. Because my specialized table doesn't have enough room. And it looks like I'm going to have to get another get a knife again. I'm going to show y'all. Silencer, retaining, plug bolt. Okay, let's, let's see what we got in here. Let's see if they actually sent me the carbon fiber one, because I'll be kind of pissed if they didn't send me the carbon fiber one, and they sent me the stainless steel one. That's really my only concern about why I want to open this a little bit earlier. And let's check it out. Ooh. There it is, guys. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's uh, centered for y'all, but there it is. That's uh, let's tear this up. That is my new Dokovic eight-inch mini exhaust. I'm guessing that's the baffle that I'm gonna take out here in a little bit or when I put it on well stay tuned we're gonna install it and this video will probably come up uh, we'll resume during the install video which I wanted you guys to check it out and I wanted to open it and make sure that it's actually it is what it is what it what I ordered so let's roll intro what comes in the box or comes out the box you got a downpipe here some brackets some o-rings you have a clamp that I guess goes from the downpipe onto the exhaust and looks like it has a little port there for the oxygen sensor I've never done this before so we're gonna do an install video and we're gonna try it out and figure out what we need to do 
So this is going to be the bottom fairings for the Ninja 650. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take off these fairings so we can work a little bit better and see what's under here and pull out the exhaust from the bottom. The There's a screw right over here, a little Allen head. You would use a four millimeter. Just pop it out right over there. And then you have a clip right on the bottom right here. So this little clip right over here actually comes off from the center bottom piece of that holds together both of the fairings on the right and the left side. So you will pop that out. Then there's another clip that comes out here and you can use a flathead screwdriver. It'll probably be better to pop it out because it's a little bit bigger. So you pop that out, now the two pieces are completely separated. And right back here, there should be a screwdriver or a screw that you need to pop out in order to get that bottom fairing out. On the left side, there's a fourth screw um, that you're not going to see. It's kind of hard to see and you kind of got to go through the exhaust to, uh, to get to it. So we got the fairings out, uh, the bottom fairings. And one thing I did not do was I wanted to show you guys the difference with the exhaust. So we're going to do a cold start real quick on the Kawasaki Ninja 650. So this is a cold start with the stock exhaust. Alright guys, so once we get the fairings out, both fairings on the bottom are off. We're able to access the oxygen sensor, that's right over here, and let me see if we can get it better. That's the oxygen sensor, it's going to be on the left side of the back by the, by the clutch gear, um, by the clutch. And so what we're going to do right now is before we take that off, I'm going to go ahead and unhook the clutch and that way we can get to a chassis bolt that's behind the uh the clutch so in order to take the clutch out you're going to need a six millimeter and a wrench and we're going to go ahead and take this out here and it looks like it comes off pretty easy You can probably do it by hand once you break the, uh, there you go. So that's off. And the reason why we take this off is that we can get into the bolt that's way back over there as a chassis bolt in order to drop the exhaust. So after we drop the shifter, we're going to go ahead and take off the uh, oxygen sensor. Okay, so once you break it uh, open or loose, you can just use your hand to pull it off. Now it's not good to uh, twist the line, so you got to do it kind of slowly and carefully. So we got the oxygen sensor out, and all you got to do is just keep it hanging right over there and we'll come back to that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go up to the header and we're going to release. Right. So we're going to go up into the headers and there's going to be four bolts right up on there. If you can see it, two on the outer side and two in the center. And we need to loosen that up. Don't completely take it out. Just loosen it up um, until we get to the next step and then we'll tell you what to do after that. So we're just going to take off these uh, bolts right over here and just loosen it up. And don't take it off completely.
And once loose, we're gonna go down to the chassis mount again. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the chassis mount and you're just gonna need another 12 millimeter, the same as the uh, headers for the pipes. And what you're gonna do is again, you're just gonna loosen this. There's another bolt on the other side that you're gonna have to uh, take off as well and you can take that off by hand. Let me see if you can see it right there. Yeah, so it's on the other side of that chassis mount. You have this side loosened. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep running it out so you can get that bolt completely out. There you go. So that's that bolt that you're trying to get out off the, uh, that's the chassis mount uh, bolt. So we're going to uh, hand loose the uh, bolts that hold the downpipe into the engine. Just take that off and the exhaust should drop. And once you have all four out, the uh, exhaust should just drop. So once you have the four bolts from the headers and the chassis mount uh, bolt out, you can wiggle this out and the entire exhaust should drop. Pretty easy. Here, drop that. Yeah. And there you go. So that's the uh, old stock exhaust. Looks like it's a one piece welded together and we're putting in a two piece um, with the header head, header uh, down pipes and the Delkovic exhaust. So we're putting on the bolts and we're not tightening it up yet but what you want to do is try to get it on there a little bit tight but not all the way. That way we can work on the muffler and the O2 sensor and all of that. Now this can, this was kind of hard earlier so we needed all hands on deck in order to uh, get it in. But it looks like it's uh, coming together. This is the, so this is the clamp that we're gonna enter, put the O2 sensor in. And basically we just gotta loosen this up a little bit and you can use your, uh, your wrench for that. And I think you should be able to take it off by hand. And that's where your O2 sensor will be at. So we'll see how this fits here in a minute. So guys, when we put the uh, part where the O2 sensor goes, it was a little far out and the O2 sensor couldn't reach. So we had to take out the uh, another uh, little uh, cover here to get some slack um, for the O2 sensor to reach and looks like we're able to do it um, if, if you push it down it, it's covered with like little locks and everything that you might have to kind of toy with to get that O2 sensor out a little bit further maybe about another inch and a half and uh, it should be good with that so as you can see we got the uh little clamp in there with the O2 sensor in on the other side that we had to release um, a little bit more slack for. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take out the baffle on the muffler itself. This will kind of give it a little bit uh, of a better sound. So what you're gonna have to do to take out the baffle is you're gonna have to take out this little screw right over here. And you just need a you just need a four millimeter Allen. And I think you can take this off by hand. Let's see. Oh nope, I'm gonna need a wrench. I don't know why I'm using the extension, but Do 
loosen that up. It comes off. And that should be able to release the baffle. Baffle is basically a silencer for the muffler. And from what I hear on these mini carbon eights, it's loud either way whether you have the baffle on or not. And what you're gonna need to do is use a mallet to uh, get that baffle out of there. What you do is that baffle that's in the inside, you're gonna tap it, use a mallet, tap it from the handle, and you gotta gently tap it out. And it looks like it's coming out right over here. Couple more times. And there's the baffle. It's out. So it's time to put on the exhaust. Let's figure it out. And then we'll hear how this bad boy sounds. So we got everything together. Everything's on there. We're gonna put back the fairings and we're gonna see how this bike sounds. Alright guys, so I got the exhaust finally installed. It's looking good. And I'm going to show y'all how this beast sounds. Here, I'm going to set it right over here. And this is going to be the difference between the stock and the uh, Delcovic 8 inch mini. Yeah. 